Hey, this is Overpass Insights. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today, the software specification always changes. So today I'm coming to you from Buckingham. I was here for a client meeting uh, and it just finished and it's such a beautiful morning. I saw this park and I thought, this is a perfect place to come out and, and do the video. So this is something I've been wanting to talk about for a while, but it actually came up in the meeting I was just in uh, with a client. Uh, we were talking about the specifications. So uh, every time you do a project, especially if it's a larger project, you want to have some sort of specification in place. If you do it for a client, especially if you're working with other developers, especially, but sometimes you have to do it for yourself. Like when I'm doing a project for myself, I still have, I sketch out what I want to do before I do it. Just so I get it in my mind, what I want the layout of the app to look like, how I want it to communicate, how I want the data to communicate, everything like that. Like it's, when I do my own specifications for myself, like I'm the only one who can read it. But when you work with other developers, you have to make it clear. When you work with a client, you have to make it clear. And the, the, the best thing about a specification is it identifies what you're going to do and what you're not going to do for the project. And if you're doing client work, it's essential, right? You can't go into a project and quote for it and have something blindside you. And I've had a lot of clients in the past who have insisted that we get started before I was ready, before the specification was clear to me and it was clear to them. So I was like, now I want to get every little bit down here that we can on the specification. But here's the thing. Specifications frequently change, especially on larger projects, right? This, and that's the meetings we just had now we're talking about yeah, well, we know we know basically what we're doing. We're, we're midway through the project and the specification has a few little things that we didn't anticipate, that the client didn't anticipate, that I didn't anticipate, the developers didn't anticipate. So we're gonna have to change the specification a little bit. And a lot of times for me, I work with developers. So I work with, you know, offshore developers. I work with local developers. I work with, you know, developers and I'm a developer too. So. When I'm going through these specification changes, I'm making an evaluation how if they're easy or if they're difficult. If they're easy, usually I'll say, yeah, I'm sure, yeah, we could do that. And then I have to go back and make the case to the developers and they'll be like, but Eric, this wasn't in the specification, right? And I'm like, yeah, I know it wasn't in the specification, but you think you could just do this real quick? You just kind of just add this in. You know, there's easy things like label changes, label changes and, and stuff like that. But sometimes it could be, a little bit more involved like can we just generate a pdf on this thing you know from can we take this data and generate a pdf i know this is this is like a good at least a half day's work but can we just slide this in there and sometimes you know I'll, sometimes the you know the client has to pay for the change sometimes i'll absorb the cost if i think it you know it wasn't specified a lot of times i'll absorb the cost if i think it wasn't specified or if it was implied uh and then but you know and then the developers do it but it's funny, as a developer, you have to defend that specification because it's going to change. There's going to be scope creep, right? And there's going to be little things that you think, yeah, go on, we could do that. And there's going to be things that are just like major structural changes, which you have to say no to. And um, it's a lot of times our specifications, it has two audiences. It's the developers and it's the clients themselves. You know, is it, it's got to be good, good enough so the clients understand what we're doing and what we're not doing and also good enough so the developers can understand what the finished product is supposed to look like. But the, but the specification always changes and you always hear the same thing. But it's not in the spec. So let me know, do you guys have that much of a, a issue with that kind of stuff? Uh, anyway, beautiful day here in Buckingham. I hope you guys are having a great day. I'll talk to you guys again next time. <music>